President Yoon's initiative to bring North Korea back to talks is gradually taking shape. Two cabinet members explained to lawmakers how the plan can be implemented. Han sung woo reports. Unification Minister Kwon young se told lawmakers Thursday that moving forward, South Korea is going to be more specific in its messages to North Korea about its so-called audacious initiative and work to create conditions for the regime to embrace the plan. The Yoon suk yeol administration seeks to dramatically improve the North's economy and infrastructure if Pyongyang takes real steps toward denuclearization. This would include a large-scale food program, assistance with its power grid, the modernization of its ports, airports and medical system, as well as agricultural and financial support. Speaking at a parliamentary session, Minister Kwon explained that the plan will also include political and military measures corresponding to the level of progress made towards denuclearization. He added that the government will push for the establishment of an inter-Korean Joint Economic Development Committee to coordinate with North Korea on how the various projects will be carried out. Details have yet to be revealed, but the minister said South Korea will iron them out in close cooperation with the United States and other ministries while striving to garner support from related countries, such as China. Also addressing lawmakers in the same session was Foreign Minister Park Jin, who said South Korea will work closely with the U.S. and the international community to try and bring North Korea back to the negotiating table and implement Yoon's audacious initiative. To do so, he emphasized the three pillars of deterrence, dissuasion and diplomacy. But should the regime conduct another major provocation, such as a seventh nuclear test, he reaffirmed that South Korea will seek not just new UN Security Council sanctions, but also its own sanctions against Pyongyang. The two ministers both said the North appears to have finished preparations for what would be its first nuke test since 2017. Kwon said Pyongyang appears to be taking several political factors into consideration on deciding when to press the button. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.